am so excited because this is our 12th wall. I'm very excited because the reason I started the walk was to try to motivate, inspire others to get out and do some type of activity. I'm out here to uh, support my wife in her uh, endeavor out here to get some exercise and uh, to get a good workout. And everybody is out here for the same purpose and uh, and this is a quite achievement for the community. One of the reasons why my wife and I are here, Monifa, is also, you know, we started a, a workout program with Chauncey. We're trying to get our health together because we just had a child. Uh, her name is Justice. And we want to make sure that we're healthy, strong parents uh, in the years to come. We just want to get healthy, we want to uh, fellowship with other people and I think it's very important as a community that we come together and take care of ourselves and take an active approach in getting healthier and staying healthy. So that's why we're out here today. On our one year anniversary of the walk, I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to take the example from this Ernestine about what it means to live and to be healthy. Um, especially for our seniors, the concept of healthy aging is a really important concept and can begin with something as simple as taking a walk around the park, um, but then it means knowing your numbers and following the advice of physicians and other healthcare professionals who can help you to age gracefully, just like Miss Ernestine. Well, it's been a year. This event's been a year. We've been uh, covering on our radio show uh, every month, and uh, it's exciting. Chauncey and Miss Ernestine have one year getting all these people to the park to be fit and healthy. Yeah. Yeah, we started so, uh, working out with Chauncey a year ago, so right. it's sort of an anniversary for, for us, us too. too. And, yeah, but we, we think that they're such an asset to the city, and um, they have the ability to get people out like this. You know, it's really amazing people come out. It started small, and now we get 50 people here on a Saturday. It's wonderful. I think it's the most important thing is healthiness. Uh, becoming healthy, staying healthy, eating healthy, and exercising all makes the body live longer, makes you stronger, and also it wards off a lot of diseases, cancers, and all the other things that makes your body wear down over, over time because of lack of exercise. I'm here to support the cause to walk. I'm, I am a walker and I love walking and I know walking helps with a lot of diseases and I've been able to survive by walking. You, you can lose weight. I try to put food along with walking to try to stay healthy. I'm here because this is so important. Health is the key um, to our existence and I'm out here supporting Miss Ernestine because she's phenomenal. Um, you know, she's 78 years old. She puts on these walks and this is the key to actually saving and, and maintaining our existence in our communities. We need to learn to maintain healthy lifestyles. The number one epidemic in America today is um, obesity, high blood pressure, which is very prominent in our communities and taking care of your health and exercise, promoting good health will help decrease these epidemics that are plaguing our community. And I come from a family with high rates of diabetes and obesity and so I'm very conscious of how important exercise is to keeping us healthy and fit. Um, I've been working with them since inception. Um, I think it's a wonderful idea to bring the community together in health and wellness. Um, the people that come out and the inspirational stories that you hear while you're walking and connecting with people is just an awesome experience while keeping in shape, um, learning about things in the community and just being really impactful on people's um, consciousness around health and wellness. I am so excited, I'm so happy, I'm so proud of the community and how we're coming together and how we're making changes in our own personal life because at the end of the day it's a personal journey and we're here to celebrate Miss Ernestine this year again for her 78th birthday and who would have thought you know that she would have would been able to bring this many people together to celebrate with her on her special day so we just wish that this continues for the years to come and that we step out of Baltimore and touch many more cities and we can make 
it a worldwide event and change lives globally. It keeps me healthy, fit, and strong. And also to encourage other people to get out, be motivated, to walk, run, jump, do whatever it makes them feel good inside. Because what's important is your health. Not much that you want to be skinny or anything like that, but you need to be healthy inside. I hope that there's a walk, a race, an activity like this um, in every community because it's just, it's free, it's a free activity, it's, um, it increases, um, you know, a vibe in the community that inspires hope, so I hope it happens everywhere. From the time this has started, this has been an entire year now, and it's been so wonderful that every time everyone comes, you know, they always enjoy themselves. They, they talk about how they want to come to do this again. Uh, where I would like to see this go in the meantime is that um, I hope that it, it catches on throughout the entire city, that maybe the whole city will eventually walk with us. I am truly enthusiastic about the entire thing. I think it's such a wonderful thing because everyone is truly, truly enjoying themselves doing this. I'm hoping that the people who have come out to do the walks Maybe I may have some senior people to let them know that age is nothing but a number. And if ever there were an anti-aging pill, you would have to name it exercise. And with my youngsters, I'm hoping that they too will know that it is very important for them to also get out and do some type of exercise. That is what my dream is for everyone who comes out.